There are more than 600 muscles in the human body, and all of them are controlled by the brain. The brain coordinates our movements with such an amazing accuracy and flexibility that no human-built robot can come even close. And yet, it is very hard for us to learn new movement skills. It will take around 10 months for this baby to learn how to crawl, and another 3 months to learn how to walk. It will take two more years to learn to ride a scooter, and then another two years for a bicycle. And it can take decades of training to master a martial art, or to learn to dance tango. This is the 27th time we're trying to make, we're trying to make this shot. And I'm all the time wondering, how is our brain learning new movements? Why is, it, why is it so easy to make them once they are learned? And why, and why does it take so long to learn them? We are interested in algorithms that our brain is using when learning new motor skills. One of the ideas we are currently investigating in our lab we call structure learning. Imagine that you are learning several motor tasks that are all similar to each other. Can the motor system of your brain recognize the underlying common structure of all these tasks and use it to reduce the dimensionality of the control problem? We are studying this question by asking volunteers to participate in carefully designed experiments where they would learn a set of simple tasks that all belong to the same structure. In this experiment, participants are looking in 3D glasses and are moving a handle to control a cursor in virtual reality. They have to make repeated straight movements between two targets, but their movements are perturbed by our computer program. One group of subjects experiences only vertical perturbations, and another group only horizontal ones. Participants have to compensate the effects of these perturbations in order to make straight movements and to reach the target. Crucially, the amount of perturbation changes every several trials, and so subjects have to adapt all the time. To compensate the perturbation, participants have to change the initial direction of their hand movements. Here you see how this direction changes during the training, for the vertical group in red color and for the horizontal group in blue. We make subjects continue this training for three consecutive days, and afterward we compare how these two groups react to a sudden diagonal perturbation. If structure learning hypothesis is true, then the reaction of the groups will be quite different. The red group will correct the vertical component of the error faster than the horizontal one, and vice versa for the blue group. In fact, our hypothesis predicts that adaptation paths will always be bent towards the learned structure. This is exactly what we saw in the experiment. Adaptation paths are bent, and moreover, it is not only true for adaptations during one trial, but also for the adaptation across the five trials with a fixed diagonal perturbation. These experimental results fit perfectly to our predictions. This is only one out of many experiments that we are doing, but we are still very far from the final answer to our questions. Can it be that our brain is all the time, constantly, looking for structures in the outside world? Can it be, for example, that when we learn to play the piano, our brain is actually looking for some useful structures in the space of possible finger movements? And can it be that we enjoy the beauty of this Scalati Sonata exactly because we can feel its brilliant and complicated structure?